All over the country, the entrepreneurial agenda is being advanced by converts to the cause. Faroiga's youth entrepreneurship programme, Nifty, is one of many initiatives supported by the Entrepreneur of the Year programme. It aims to empower the generation that is following behind, and it's proof positive that in a climate dominated by financial crises, the only currency that can never be devalued is hope. World markets have suffered sharp losses again. Total borrowing now stands at 148 billion euro, with 30.9 billion euro. That's right, Brian. The figures are pretty gloomy reading from the IMF. The global economic meltdown has been the soundtrack to our lives for the past 12 months. Yet communities from Dublin City to the edge of the Atlantic are discovering that a good idea, some encouragement, and as little as 15 euro seed money and sustain more than just dreams. I'm Lauren McSharry, I'm from Killybegs. I go to St. Catherine's Vocational School and I'm in transition year this year. I started my business a year and a half ago and it's called Lawrence Home Bacon. The very first day was probably the easiest because people we knew were like, oh, you're starting a business and they come over and buy it. But then after that, they had to prove that yourself to them then, that you actually were doing something serious. Joe is really good, the vegetable man. He's like, ever since I started, he's done nothing but help. He always tells me to look busy, to never look like you're bored or doing nothing and the customers will come to you. He says that every week. <laughs> and the customers keep coming. So much so that when her mum was made redundant earlier this year, Lawrence Home Baking took on its very first employee. When Lawrence started the business, we all thought that it's just going to be like a phase. Yeah. And as it grew, like you know, Lauren grew with it, you could it just encourage us all yeah. that there is something there, that there is the possibility. Yeah. You know, people love the idea of that the country was in such a state that you had a youngster getting up, making a go of something. And all that they had the first day was a table, just a garden table, you know. And a wee tin. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much a family business now. It's not just me, it's everybody now. I'm still managing director. They're not getting away with that one. In Killybegs, Lauren's business is helping to provide for her parents, while in Dublin, another young entrepreneur is looking after the next generation. My name is Kyle. I'm 18 and um, I'm running my own business. And it's called, called Kyle's Woodcrafts. When I was 15, I got thrown out of school. I was planning on sitting at home all day long, waiting until I was 18 to sign on the labour. <laughs> that was it. When my son Aaron was born, he helped me get my act together, basically, so I can provide for my girlfriend and the baby. The best thing about being in business is really making me own money, being my own boss, and just the joy of turning scrap into a piece of art. I love the smell of the wood, cutting it up. Love everything about it. Just love what you can turn a piece of scrap into. It's just nice. For both Kyle and Lauren, the main ingredient in business has been enthusiasm. But the rewards have been greater than either could have imagined. It was a small idea that's turned into something big. Like So it is good to know that what I started two years ago, just selling muffins, has turned into something really big. In the future, I'm hoping that the business will kick off, help me provide for my family and for Aaron. inspirational and of course a former entrepreneur of the year Jerry Kennelly has himself been doing outstanding work in the schools of Kerry through his young entrepreneur awards program showing that if the ecosystem's right the modest seeds will bear fruit year after year after year speaking of which it's time to continue our celebration of the 2011 harvest as we move on to the finalists in the international category